Six Common Behaviors That Ruin Relationships Has your relationship struggled recently? Have you been getting into more and longer arguments with your partner? Does it just feel like the spark is gone and your relationship is more of an obligation than a joy? Relationships are challenging even for the best of couples. There are many ways in which a relationship can fail. However, did you know that many common behaviors may accelerate the end of your relationship? From setting ultimatums, a lack of commitment, anger, and a lesser-known behavior we'll discuss soon, you may be unknowingly destroying your partnership with these activities. Number 1. Ultimatums If you want to quickly undermine your partner's trust, give them an ultimatum. Ultimatums are a threat to do something negative if your partner does not do what you want. Research on the effect of ultimatums in non-romantic relationships is fascinating. According to a study from Rep. Individuals ignore or overrule ultimatums the majority of the time. The authors believe these results are due to assumed norms of reciprocity and fairness. If you can find these results in a non-romantic context, imagine how they would differ if both partners assumed the other would be loving. If you want to stop undermining your relationship, stop issuing ultimatums. Number 2. Reacting in anger If you're in a relationship, your partner will criticize you. This is inevitable. However, the way you react to this criticism can say a lot about the health of your relationship. If you react in anger to any form of criticism, your relationship may not survive. The results from a study in the journal Emotion are shocking. The research demonstrates that individuals that struggle with controlling their anger increase the amount of anger in their partner. This produces a disastrous feedback loop that can quickly destroy a relationship. Make sure to subscribe. Number 3. Getting too comfortable. Getting too comfortable in a relationship may sound like a good problem to have. Isn't the goal of a healthy relationship to get comfortable around each other? According to research, not necessarily. Getting too comfortable in a relationship is associated with many negative outcomes. However, the most emotionally devastating is infidelity. According to research by Normal Bar, 71% of men and 49% of women polled cheated on their partner because they were bored of the relationship. You can't get too comfortable if you want your relationship to last. You have to grow with your partner to keep your relationship strong. Number 4. Avoiding Confrontation Have you ever heard of the phrase walking on eggshells? This is one of the worst phrases to hear when discussing any relationship. If you or your partner feel like you have to avoid confrontation to keep the relationship going, your relationship is not in a healthy place. If you avoid confrontation, it means one thing. You don't feel comfortable openly communicating with your partner. Research from your Tango shows that 65% of divorcees reported a lack of communication as one of the key reasons for their relationship ending. If you can't confront your partner on issues harming your relationship, you're not openly communicating. If this continues, your relationship is unlikely to survive. Number 5. Lack of Commitment do you remember how your relationship started? How often did you hold hands? How often did you kiss or get each other small gifts? These are signs that you're committed to your relationship. Research shows that without affection, relationships fall apart. For example, research done on couples' reasons for divorcing are surprising. 70% of couples cited a lack of commitment as a reason for divorce. The research is clear. If you don't put your all into your relationship, it won't last. Number 6. Overstepping Boundaries Boundaries are the foundation of healthy relationships. Couples that set healthy boundaries report higher self-esteem, less burnout, and more self-knowledge. However, if your partner frequently breaks your boundaries, your relationship may start to break down. Common boundary violations include touching without your partner's permission, breaking commitments, and giving unwanted advice. If you or your partner do any of the previous, your relationship may struggle to survive. To resolve this problem, talk openly with your partner and try to re-establish healthy boundaries. If your partner is unwilling to consider such a conversation, it may be wise to move on. If you're interested in the causes of some of these behaviors, check out our video on the six signs you may have emotional trauma. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.